You know, Mr. Speaker, I think each one of us, 435, has to ask ourselves, is this really what we were sent here to do? To take food out of the mouths of hungry people, nearly half of them children? That's what's at stake this week when we are asked to vote on legislation that would cut $39 billion from one of our nation's most successful and important programs, the Supplemental Nutrition Assistance Program, SNAP, used to be called food stamps. You know, as a Jew, we just came through the, the, the Jewish holidays and, and, we, and we talked about what it means to be a, a, a human being in this world, in this country. Every major religion, religion in this, in this world and represented in this house teaches you feed the hungry, not as charity, but as a mandate, because that's what it is to be a human being in our world. All the religions have written letters and, and implored us not to do this. You know, I participated three times in the Congressional Food Stamp Challenge, in which we eat on $31.50 for, for an entire week. And uh, I'm not complaining about it because I knew it was just a week and, and it would end, but that's the average SNAP benefit. And you know what? You can get the calories. That's pretty easy as you go to the grocery store. If you're lucky enough to live near a grocery store and not in a food desert, but the reality is for 48 million people, you can get the calories, but it's really hard to get the nutrition. By the time you get to the fruits and vegetables, which are quite expensive, it's hard to, to do it. So it's not comfortable to rely on SNAP benefits, and many people line up at the end of the month at food pantries that are everywhere in this country, including some of the richest districts. But the SNAP program, which has a bipartisan history, is the last line of defense between 48 million Americans and chronic hunger. You know, the House already voted down a farm bill that included $20 billion in, in, in SNAP cuts, and it would have taken benefits away from a million children and would have prevented, or at least uh, up to a million, million children, and would have prevented 200,000 hungry children from getting school lunches that they rely on so much. And this bill is back, but on steroids. In addition to all of the devastating cuts that have been proposed, the House, those that, that were rejected earlier, the new bill would prevent any able-bodied adult from getting more than three months of benefits, SNAP benefits, during a three-year period, even if they're unable to find work. And many of those people are veterans. Up to 170,000 people who served our country would be denied. This is at a time when unemployment among low-income Americans is over 20 percent, and the average time of unemployment is, is about nine months. Those numbers don't add up. That means that passage of this bill could nearly starve those looking for work, and no one can deny that fact. I know how SNAP benefits my constituents, and I know what would happen if those benefits were lost. I've attended several events at food pantries and community centers, and each time I've heard resounding support for SNAP. In just one day, I received 242 postcards from my constituents urging me to oppose these dangerous cuts to the SNAP program. They have my vote, and I'm imploring my colleagues. It should have the vote of every member of this body to reject those cuts. A constituent who previously wrote to my office summed up her thoughts about the importance of funding the SNAP program this way. Here's what she said. Hungry thoughts every waking day are my constant companion. Here in the supposedly wealthiest country on earth, and it is, Please have compassion for your low-income and fixed-income constituents who are loyal, patriotic Americans and who are in dire need of nutritious and affordable food, unquote. A former SNAP beneficiary, a woman named Dresden Schumacher, described the program as a trampoline rather than a safety net 
because of SNAP's able to make ends meet for her young family during a period of time of great need. Her story is similar to most SNAP beneficiaries who no longer need food assistance within one year of receiving benefits. Were you gaveling? So I, I'm begging my colleagues, please, don't support these cuts. Let's be the value-driven country that we are and vote no to the $40 billion cut to SNAP. The gentlewoman's time has expired.